dear children we will be continuing here the second part of the supplementary lesson number 9 boli second part in your non detail book page number 58 i stopped the first part whereas boli was admitted in the school there she was stammering she had lot of difficulties but her affectionate teacher encouraged her to say her name and slowly she was recovering from stammering now and she was very happy her heart was throbbing with a new hope and a new life thus the years passed the village became a small town slowly there was a development the little primary school became a high school there were now a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill in that way the village was developing a cinema theater came and a cotton mill factory came the mail train also began to stop at their uh, village railway station one night after dinner ramlal that is boli's father said to his wife then shall i accept bijambas proposal yes certainly his wife said boli will be lucky to get such a well to do bridegroom so that means a parents of boli found out a bridegroom for her a big shop a house of his own and uh, here several thousand rupees in the bank moreover he is not asking for any dowry ah oh, that's right but he is not so young you know almost the same age as i am and he also limps moreover the children from his first wife are quite grown up oh my god here what we understand boli's father and mother found out a bridegroom who was as old as her father maybe around 50 and uh, that man had children from the first wife who might have died and uh, he was uh, slightly while walking limping with all this they found out a man but he was only plus point is he was very very rich so what does it matter his wife replied 45 or 50 that is the age it is no great big age for a man we are lucky that he is from another village and does not know about her poke marks and her lack of sense if we don't accept this proposal she may remain unmarried all her life that is what her mother was in a way happy though the man was 50 years old like father she wanted boli to marry such an old man yes but i wonder what boli will say will she accept this ah what will that witless one say that means knowledge less knowledge less girl she is like a dumb cow mother gave her judgment maybe you are right muttered ramlal in the other corner of the courtyard boli lay awake on her cot listening to her parents whispering conversation of course she was observing listening silently the secret conversation of her parents bijambar nath was a well to do grocer bijambar nath was actually the name of a bride groom you know bishambar nath was a well to do grocer means he is a businessman he is maybe having a big shop grocery shop he came with a big party of friends and relations with him for the wedding a brass band playing a popular tune from an indian film headed the procession with the bride groom riding a decorated horse so here the description of a a marriage ceremony 
bridegroom was sitting on a horse decorated horse riding on horse ramlal was overjoyed to see such pomp and splendor that is by uh, extraordinary luxurious procession he was very happy he had never dreamt that his fourth daughter would have such a grand wedding both his elder sisters who had come for the occasion were envious of her luck so the sisters were feel felt jealous of her luck that boli was going to marry such a richest person of nearby village when the auspicious moment came the priest said come on bring the bride or my mantras are over come on bring the bride the priest the ayer said boli clad dressed clad in a red silken bridal dress was led to the bride's place near the sacred fire she was brought garland the bride come on take the garland and uh, garland her one of his friends prompted bishambar nath the bridegroom lifted the garland of yellow marigolds a woman slipped back the silken veil from the bride's face bishambar took a quick glance the garland remained poised in his hands the bride slowly pulled down the veil over her face have you seen her said bishambar to the friend next to him she has spoke marks on her face now only the bridegroom bishambar saw the face of boli and identified the black poke marks hey my dear friend did you watch there are number of poke marks on your face so what you are not young elder you are a old man maybe but if i am to marry her no other way her father boli's father must give me 5000 rupees as a dowry now the problem started the old man asked 5000 rupees cash as a dowry ramlal went and placed his turban his honor at bishambar's feet do not humiliate me sir so take 2000 rupees i am not having 5000 please he is begging he is requesting no 5000 you must pay 5000 to marry such a ugly girl of you your daughter give me 5000 otherwise or we will go back keep your daughter with keep your daughter with you please be a little considerate please please if you go back i can never show my face in the village it will be a great insult come on accept this 2000 Boli's father was having only 2,000 begging the bridegroom. Then out with 5,000. Tears streaming down his face. Ramlal went in, opened the safe and counted out the notes. He placed the bundle at the bridegroom's feet. Anyway, he went and collected all the money kept here and there and uh, bundled it and kept under the feet of a bridegroom on bishambar's greedy face appeared a triumphant smile a victorious smile like a villain he was smiling <laughs> very good he gambled and won he asked 5000 dowry now boli's father collected all the money remaining at home and gave Okay, I'm ready. Give me the garland," he announced. Once again, the veil was slipped back from the bride's face, but this time her eyes were not downcast. First time she was, Bolly was bending her head. Now she was looking up, looking straight at her prospective husband, and in her eyes there was neither anger nor hate, only cold contempt. She hated him. Bishambar raised the garland to place it round the bride's neck. It was like a cinema climax. He was uh, getting up uh, with a 
garland you wanted to garland the bride's neck but before he could do so boli's hand struck out like a streak of lightning like a at in the such a fast manner she stopped the hand of bishamba the old bridegroom and the garland was flung into the fire it's looking like cinema climax she was stopping the hand striking the hand of bridegroom so the beautiful garland fell into the fire everybody got shock she got up and threw away the veil pitaji said boli calling her father pitaji in a clear loud voice and her father mother sister brothers relations and neighbors were startled that means got shock to hear her speak without even the slightest stammer pitaji come on take back your money i am not i am not going to marry this old man and who wants 5000 dowry at this old age i am not going to marry daddy pitaji take back your money ramlal was thunderstruck the guest began to whisper so shameless so ugly and so shameless boli are you crazy shouted ramlal you should not do like this you are a girl you want to disgrace your family have some respect regard for our izzat so don't do like this for the sake of your izzat honor said boli i was willing to marry this lame old man he was limping he was a old man he had got already married he had one of children but i will not have such a mean greedy and contempt contemptible covered as my husband i don't want such a man such a mean who wants money from wife's future wife's father greedy greedy of money i don't like to marry this covered i don't want to have him as my husband i won't i won't i won't i won't marry him what a shameless girl you are we all thought she was a homeless dump cow but how she was how dare she was stopping the marriage the last minute boli turned violently on the old woman yes auntie you are right you all thought i was a dump driven cow that's why you wanted to hand me over to this heartless old creature but now the dump cow the stammering fool is speaking do you want to hear more bishambar nath the grocer the bridegroom started to go back with his party the confused bandman music musicians thought this was the end of the marriage ceremony and struck up a closing song ramlal stood rooted to the ground his head bowed low with the weight of grief grief means sadness and shame the flames of the sacred fire slowly died down uh, the sacred fire made by the brahmin slowly died down everyone was gone ramlal turned to boli and said but what about you man my dear darling boli what about you here after no one will ever marry you now what shall we do with you and suleka said in your voice you know i think you remember suleka is the original name of boli said in your voice that was calm and steady don't you worry pitaji come on don't worry in your old age i will serve you and serve my mother and i will teach in the same school where i learned so much isn't that right madam the teacher had all along stood in your corner for the marriage ceremony the teacher who encouraged boli also came to that marriage when boli said something the teacher was nodding the head watching the drama marriage drama yes boli of course you are right she replied you are going to be a teacher i have got a job for you you can teach the children she replied and in her smiling eyes was the light of a deep satisfaction 
that an artist feels when contemplating the completion of her masterpiece suppose if an artist was uh, drawing the masterpiece and completing he will be thinking over the contemplating means thinking deep thinking and getting deep satisfaction after seeing his masterpiece painting like that for the teacher that student boli suleka is the masterpiece of the teacher so she was very happily watching the bold girl boli and boli becomes the teacher in the same school where she studied that is a story by k a abbas it is celebrating the glory and greatness of a teacher and uh, it is sings the importance of women's education the women's liberation so children i hope you all might have enjoyed the lesson after seeing this youtube video take your book take your supplementary reader in page number 54 you read the story once again no you are responsibility you are in 10th standard please read immediately take uh, the pink color guide given by me read the summary question answers and enjoy before leaving you wish you all very happy pleasant prosperous new year 2021 all the best